Anna Politkovskaya once remarked, my job is simple, to look around and write what I see. For her and many journalists, however, that simple task has cost them their lives. This year marks the third anniversary of the murder of Politkovskaya and the fifth anniversary of the slaying, also in Moscow, of American journalist Paul Klebnikov. Investigative journalists who venture into sensitive subjects such as human rights abuses or corruption run the risk of dying as a result, especially in Russia and its turbulent North Caucasus region. Several journalists in Russia have been killed in the past year alone. Journalist and human rights activist Natalia Estemirova, Abdul Malik Ahmadilov, Vyacheslav Yeroshenko, Shafik Amrakhov, and Anastasia Baburova and her colleague, human rights lawyer Stanislav Markyelov. Others were fortunate enough to survive their assaults and a spate of other physical attacks on journalists throughout the Russian Federation. Kyrgyzstan has also seen several violent attacks on journalists, including Abdul Wahab Maniev and Sirgakh Abdeldaev. Several journalists in Kazakhstan were also violently attacked during the past year, including Bakhit Shan Nurpesev, Yermek Baltai, and Artyom Musev. As has been noted by other speakers, Ramazan Yusurgepov was physically removed from his hospital bed by Kazakhstan security forces in early January, shortly after reporting on alleged corruption by local judicial officials. In Armenia, newspaper editor Argishti Kiviryan and television journalist Inver Natsakanyan have become the latest targets of increasingly frequent violent attacks on journalists in that country. In Azerbaijan, numerous cases of violence against journalists, including the 2005 murder of Elmar Husseinov, remain unsolved. We are deeply concerned by a recent report from the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety that their correspondent, Elman Abbasov, has been receiving death threats again. We are similarly concerned by reports of death threats against independent journalist and Norwegian Rafto Prize winner Malahat Nasipova, who has been physically attacked, arrested, and harassed. Many cases of journalists attacked or killed in the OSCE region are double tragedies. Insufficient investigations and prosecutions do not bring justice to the perpetrators or deter future violence. The resulting climate of impunity can increase self-censorship and stifle the important role that independent media play in society. Finally, Mr. Moderator, I'd like to say a few words about a case in my own country. Chauncey Bailey was gunned down in Oakland, California two years ago because of his investigation into a local business. One person was indicted shortly after the murder and a second was charged this past April. After his death, other journalists, editors, and volunteers began a project to conduct their own investigation into Bailey's murder, shedding additional light on that case and the police handling of it. They also committed to finishing the news stories that Chauncey Bailey was working on when he was murdered. As the project says on its website, you can't kill a story by killing a journalist. I'll be saying a few farewell words about Mr. Harshti in this afternoon's session, and I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.